everybody, welcome back to another scrap mechanic video. And today we're going to be taking a look at the controller and the use um, of it connecting to bearings, pistons, buttons, and switches. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first off, I'm just going to kind of explain the use of the controller, which we can look at our handy manual. So the controller, it enables the creation of transforming moving vehicles. So you can program your bearings to rotate at set degrees in a set sequence and active by using a trigger, which includes sensors, buttons, and switches. So as you can see in this, these images, you can create some type of door mechanism um, by using bearings and a sequence so that the door closes and then the bar comes down, as you can see. So that's what we're gonna do first. Okay, so let's just build a very basic house. Okay, so now we have our little uh, makeshift house complete. And what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be building um, two types of doors. First, our front door, which opens and closes using bearings um, and has a locking bar that lowers across it, um, which can be accessed from one switch on the outside of this wall. And we're gonna have a piston door as a roof hatch, which will um, slide and um, slide out of the way for us to so first really quick this little contraption to show you guys um quickly um the different uses of the controller with um all the different triggers and then with bearings over here and pistons over here so let me just go through um each of these so you have a little better understanding so right here we got our bearings and when you click a switch click it it turns the bearing to however much you've set it here here I have 90 degrees, and it will stay there until you turn it off. It will go back. Button um, is, so you can see both of these I've set to go to 45. So when I tap the button, it doesn't really do anything. But when I hold it, I can hold and let go and wave these little arms. Sensor, once I get in a certain range, it will activate it and hold it until I move out of the way. That's great for hidden sensor doors and things. And over here, similar thing with the piston, um, but they're pistons. So click it once, pushes the piston to the length that I've set it to, which is 15. And I can always change that somewhere in here. You can see I have it set, set as 15. I can set it to five if I want. So now the length it's at is five, and that's a, just a toggle. The button, once again, doesn't do much like this, but if I hold it, I can bring it up, let go, bring it back down, as you can see. And then the sensor, um, these pistons, as you can see, they start extended. And basically, I have them over here on this first section. They are started, and let me set those all to the same, set to five, and they're there by default. And then once I go over this, they shrink back down to zero. See that? And there you go. So that's just a little basic understanding. Um, and now we're going to go get to building our door. Okay, so let's get into this first door. First thing you're going to want to put, your controller. Here, let's see. Boom, your controller. Um, we're going to just have a switch here. And then what you're going to want to do is have your two bearings, both on the same side. And then you're just going to build your wall. So let's do that, make it out of this block. And what you wanna see, you can see that top bearing, when I take it off, it um, is just normal. And then when I put it on, it's green. That's what you want. Cause that means this is, um, your door is welded to the bearings and not the wall. Normally it would be welded to this wall, but since those were green, that's your signal to know that you've done it correctly. Okay, so let's go back here. Now, take out your wiring tool. As you can see, there's our two bearings, our switch, and our controller. So first thing you're going to want to do, connect your switch to your controller. 
first basic thing, and connect your controller to your two barracks. Simple as that. And the thing is, you want to make sure these are facing the same way. So you can see they are not. The blue arrow on this one goes clockwise. The blue arrow on this one um, counterclockwise. Yeah. From the top, it would be counterclockwise. So we're just going to right click and it should change the direction. And that should turn the door correctly. Um, now you go into here, and this is where you control your bearings and pistons. So you can see these are our two bearings, one and two. So you know the bottom one's one, top one's two. And we're going to want to turn them 90 degrees um, inward, which is the blue arrow. So we're going to turn them blue, 90 degrees. Now, as you can see, the purple is the negative. Okay, we're going to turn down the speed just a little so you guys can see it. And perfect. Now when we click the switch, it should open. Beautiful. There it is. We got a working door. But we want to make this a little more secure. So we're going to add a bearing here. We are going to make a bar coming off of it. Just like that. Let me paint this so you guys can see it. Okay, perfect. There we go. So we want this bar to come across after the door has closed. So we want the door to open and this thing to come up. So actually in that case, we would in fact make it go like this. My bad. Yeah, we'd make it go across and see it's going to fall because it's a loose bearing. But as soon as we connect it to this, boom. Okay, so now we want this thing um, to go up after the doors close and you can see there it is, the third one. And this is our time sequence, each of these. So these turn 90 degrees at the same time. But if I put this one after, which I believe, is that the way we want it? No. So we want it purple. We'll turn it this way, 90. That's going to go after in, that, in those rows. So that should come after. Let's try it. Beautiful, and we got a working security system. It closes, and it closes. Beautiful. There we go. I'm actually going to make it... Um, I'm going to make these go here. And just let's, let's see how this works. Let me just... Wait, I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. There we go. Now let's try it. My bad, guys. Yeah, there it is. So it locks it in, and then it goes up, and the door swings out. Beautiful. Now we're in here. Perfect. So now, that's pretty much it. Um, I was going to explain how you can access this from two buttons, um, but for now we're just going to do one, because that um, involves a logic gate, and that's what we're going to be getting into in our next video of the series. So now what we want to do is make a piston hatch. Actually, I don't know what I'm doing. I can just go like this. Okay, perfect. So we're going to want a hatch here that will s slide with pistons. Okay, so let's build a opening. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to want... Hmm, let's see. So we'll have a piston wall back here with our pistons. So we're gonna have one piston and two piston. That should be good. And then we'll have our, actually, let's see. Is that, is that what we want? Hmm, I think so. Yeah, I think so. So I'm just gonna delete this. Okay, now I'm gonna make a hatch. There we go. So now we got our little hatch here. And we want this to slide over. So we're going to have a controller. It's connected up just like that. As you can see, they're numbered one and two. We'll add a switch on the actual thing. I'm thinking, yeah, right there. So you can access it. Okay, and connect that there. So now, hmm. Let's see, so we want these to start 
Is 15 what we want? Okay, we definitely don't want 15. Let's try 5. No! Work with me here. Okay, this is making me angry. Ooh, we want four. Boom. We should probably add that. There we go. So now we got our nice hatch started. And when we click the button, we're going to want it to pull into zero. Will that work? Beautifully. Wow, look at that. We got a working hatch. So you can see here... Um, with this first, see how it's separated, these, um, this first slot is its starting position if it is off the lift. And this doesn't really work with this because it's, um, it's welded to the ground. But let's say you have a vehicle on a lift, it's all set up, and as soon as you take it off the lift, this is what it's going to be set to. So you can see, this is our preset at four long. And then when we click the button, which are these, it sets it to zero. So it pulls it in. And that's how you do a pulling mechanism. Let's say we want it to push out. We set these to zero. Put these to, let's just do 11. Now, when we have the button off, it starts in. And we turn it on, it goes out. So that's just how we make a very basic lock door and a piston hatch. So there you go. That's just super basic control. I think that's pretty much it for our basic controller video so if you guys enjoyed this very quick tutorial a lot shorter than the first one in this in our um, basic guide series to scrap mechanic um, but that first one was more an overview of all the tools now from here on out there are gonna be about 10 15 minutes like this one I'm um, just explaining very specific aspects so this one was controllers working with bearings and pistons. Next, we're gonna go into logic gates working with controllers um, to create more advanced sequences. And I think after that, we're gonna do some thrusters, which is gonna be really fun. Um, so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, like, subscribe, do what you gotta do, and I will see you next time. Bye.